Photographers know that colour is serious business, and taking the time to examine and refine the hues in your portraits will help push them to an elevated level and help your images stand out from the crowd. When it comes to pushing pixels post photo shoots, photographers often fixate on exposure balance and treat colour as an afterthought. But Affinity Photo has a number of features that make it quick and easy to take control of colour, and perhaps the most handy is the gradient map adjustment option. This feature is often overlooked but can prove hugely effective. Once you have your image opened in Affinity Photo's photo persona, head over to the right hand side of the interface and find the layers panel. At the bottom of the layers panel, locate the adjustments option, which can be identified as a half black, half white circle. Click on this and you'll be presented with many options, but the one we want to locate is gradient map. The image will instantly turn into RGB overlay and your gradient map adjustment layer will be added to your layer stack right at the top there. A dialog box will be present and this is what we're going to work with. The first job is to head down to the blend mode and change this from normal all the way down to soft light as this will give the best results. Also in the dialog box you'll find three markers, one on the left, one on the middle and one on the right. We want to select the middle marker and delete this, but we delete it by heading down to the delete option rather than clicking the delete key on the keyboard. Click delete and disappears. We're now going to select our colours, so head back to the gradient map dialog box, click on the left hand marker and you'll see the colour in that box is red. Click on it and a palette will come up allowing you to choose the hue of your choice. We're going to go for an orangey option, so I think that's just about right. We're then going to select the marker on the right and follow the same process, but this time I think the colour we're going to go for is more of a blue teal option. And you can see already that this is giving us a split tone effect that really takes control of the colour and presents it in a new way. Of course the colour choice may be down to whatever image you're using and of course down to personal taste as well. Once you're happy with your colours and the gradient map process is complete, you can head back down to the adjustments option in the layers panel. This time I'm going to select a curves option and another dialog box will appear and allow us to draw out a rough S shape just to give the image a curves boost. That looks about right. And finally, we're going to repeat this process one more time, but this time we're going to select HSL, look at the saturation slider and drag it to the right and boost our saturation. If you're not happy with any of your adjustments, you can go back to the layer and fine tune the colors until you're happy. So maybe let's take a bit of the orange out. That's starting to look better. There we go, that whole colour grading process took less than 5 minutes and gave us a high amount of control. We can now save the image by heading to File, Export, and saving the file in your chosen format, whether it be a JPEG, a TIFF or a PSD. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you next time.